Welcome back to Infigyan my dear friends. In this video we have another very interesting and challenging question from radical equations. It is x plus 10 over 25 equal to a square root of x plus 9 over x times x minus 5. And we are going to calculate real solutions. So let's get started. And I will begin with our answer cannot be 0 and our answer cannot be 5 from our denominators. Now I will square both sides. So power 2, power 2. A square root and a square will be over. So x plus 10 whole square over 25 square. It is 6 to 5 equal to x plus 9 divided by x times x minus 5. Now I can cross multiply x plus 10 whole square times x times x minus 5 equal to 625 times x plus 9. Now I will use substitutions. So x plus 10 let us say it is a. So x will be equal to a minus 10 x minus 5 will be a minus 15 and x plus 9 will be a minus 1. Our substitution was x plus 10 equal to a. Let's apply these values to our equation. I can write a square a minus 10 times a minus 15 equal to 625 times a minus 1. Now I will multiply. So I can write a square. This will be a square minus 25a plus 150 equal to 625a minus 625. Now I will write a power 4 minus 25a cube plus 150a square minus 625a plus 625 equal to 0. Now from this equation a cannot be equal to 0. So I can divide both sides by a square. So let us divide a square and this side also divided by a square. So I can write a square minus 25a plus 150 minus 625 over a plus 625 over a square equal to 0. Now I will collect first and last term a square plus 625 over a square and then I will consider second and second last term. So it will be minus 25a minus 625 over a and then 150 equal to 0. Now from here we can take minus 25 common. Let us take. So I will write a square plus 625 over a square. Then minus 25 is common. In bracket, it will be a plus 25 over a. And then it is 150 equal to 0. Now I can split this 150 as 100 plus 50. So I will write a square plus this is 25 a square over a square and then 50. Now minus 25 times a plus 25 over a and then 
100 will be left equal to 0. 150 is 100 plus 50. This 50 is here, 100 is here. Now this bracket will give us one perfect square. It is a plus 25 over a whole square minus 25 times a plus 25 over a plus 100 equal to 0. Now this is one quadratic equation in a plus 25 over a. So let me apply quadratic formula and directly we can write here a plus 25 over a equal to minus b. So 25 plus minus square root of b square. So 6 to 5 minus 4ac divided by 2a. Now square root 225 will be there. So let me write here a plus 25 over a equal to I will write here 25 plus minus square root 225 is 15 over 2a so I will write 2. So this will give us RHS will be 40 over 2 so 20 and 10 over 2 so 5. So we have finally two values of a plus 25 over a. We will write these two equations separately a plus 25 over a equal to 20 a plus 25 over a equal to 5. Now I can multiply both the equations by a both sides. So a square minus 20 a plus 25 equal to 0 first quadratic equation and second quadratic equation will be a square minus 5 a plus 25 equal to 0. Let us solve both the equations one by one. So I will write here a square minus 20 a plus 25 equal to 0 a equal to minus b so 20 plus minus square root b square so 400 minus 4 a c minus 100 divided by 2 a so 2 so 20 plus minus this will be square root 300 which we can write 10 square root 3 over 2 which will be equal to 10 plus minus 5 square root 3. This is the value of a and a was our substitution x plus 10. This was our a. So I will write here x plus 10 equal to 10 plus minus 5 root 3. So 10 and 10 will be over. So finally we have x is equal to plus minus 5 root 3. Real solution. Now I will consider the second quadratic equation which was a square minus 5a plus 25 equal to 0. Let us check discriminant. So discriminant is b square minus 4ac. So minus 5 is square minus 4 times 1 times 25. So this will be equal to 25 minus 100. So discriminant value is coming out negative. As discriminant is negative, we will get from here the complex valued solutions. Complex solutions. So we can reject, reject it. So our final solution is x is equal to plus minus 5 square root 3. But we have to make sure whether this is our 
real and accepted solution or not so let us check here we have equation so i will write two conditions from this equation condition number one from lhs this lhs should be greater than zero and second condition will come from this radicand should be greater than zero so i will write here x plus 10 divided by 25 this should be positive conclusion from here x should be greater than negative 10 so both the solutions are greater than negative 10 second point x plus 9 divided by x times x minus 5 should be greater than 0 if we will solve this lhs using number line method then we will be having two intervals x should lie in the interval negative 9 to 0 or x should be greater than 5 so our accepted domain would be either our answer should be in the interval minus 9 to 0 or it should be greater than 5 so both the values are coming out plus minus 8.66 so it is lying in the specified interval so we will accept both the solutions so our final answer becomes x is equal to plus minus 5 square root 3 i hope friends you will like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care of yourself bye bye